gals in God's grace. Well, welcome to my house where I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to paint your front door. This is definitely the amber way because I did not take this many steps on mine. And starting with her little peephole, I did not do that. I used a penny to unscrew the peephole and Trish did not do these steps, but her door looks amazing. But you don't even have a peephole. You have a nice glass window. Oh yeah, I don't have a peephole. <laughs> First thing I did was I sanded everything down, which I had thought about taking the door off its hinges and doing all of this like on a sawhorse. And then I realized, well, that doesn't make any sense because it's on hinges. It's like holding it up for me. Yeah, and that definitely doesn't make any sense to me because I'm just going to uh, wash it barely and get that paint on. Uh, Amber definitely did more. I use this Boss Sander, which I love. I spent a lot of time looking for this sander and I'm so glad I did because it works amazing. And I took out the handles too, of course, so that I could get a nice clean paint finish. And here I am taking off the weather stripping. <laughs> I, this is like way more stuff than I would have taken. I would have rather just, well, I did. I just cut I just cut into all of that um, with a cutting paintbrush and but it worked just as good. Look at how dirty that was. I know. So yes. I had the added bonus of cleaning all that out. You're right. And I had to drink my simpler wines, peach oh, flavor. Trader Joe's, of course. Trader Joe's. Oh. I was doing this by myself, so I needed a little uh, motivation. Yeah, oh, Trader Joe's, how we love you. So after doing a little touch up sanding, I took a scrub brush and a bucket of soap and water and I washed all that dust off of the door so, so that I would have a nice clean surface for painting. Definitely not a step that I would have taken, but kudos to you, Amber. I, hey. Your door turned out amazing, so. Well, Trish, you wouldn't have done this either. You're gonna see me in a minute. I'm gonna take the hose and I'm gonna rinse off the door after I've already removed the door handle, which means I have <laughs> holes in my door. So Amber, I'm spraying water directly into my house. That's totally a Trisha move. That's funny. You missed the flood, but I did. I mopped it up. And then here you see me laying the drop cloth. Darn. So that's not for uh, cleaning up the floor, huh? That must be for painting, which, wow. I should have recorded that, but sorry. You can oh, just have fun imagining what that mess is like. A sight to see. But hey, you're doing this solo, so. Solo. All by myself. Trisha wasn't there. I know. So the paint was very fitting. So Trish got this paint for me and I chose this black color. Pure black. This original color, the blue, has been there for 18 years. That was the color that came on the door when I bought the house. So I was really excited to get a new paint color up on the door and make it look all nice and fresh for spring. Oh, it was definitely time and boy did it turn out nice. I love that color. It's just like it's not too dark, but it's not, of course, too light. It's just, it's perfect. Well, it's very dark. I have to admit, when I was putting it on there, I was a little apprehensive because it's a little alarming when you see it go on there. But you used a matte finish, which I think is excellent for especially front doors. I just, I think it turned out beautiful. It had a tiny bit of a sheen, like an eggshell, mm -hmm. but I really liked it without the shine. I don't like the shine. Well, Not in this instance. I liked it, the matte color. Absolutely. No, I just think that that's what made the door pop for sure. And you know, um, it's important not to use um, a lot of generic quality supplies. Um, you know, go out and buy that expensive paint and get the good paint brushes. I just so think it's really important. The reason why she's telling you this is because I went to the dollar store and purchased a paint roller and that was a big mistake because it shed all over my door. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. You can't really notice the mess, but it definitely left debris in the paint, which I was not happy with. Right. So yeah. she's right. Make sure you spend a little money and get some good paint Right, materials. and if you take care of your brushes, they'll last a long time and the paint, oh my gosh, it's gonna last you forever. Well, not forever, but it will look much better if you Good use point. the right tools. Yes, absolutely. You want to work smarter, not harder. You like that? You want to spend more money, don't go cheap. I don't know if it's smarter, not harder. I think it's spend a little money. Spend a little money and work hard. But you're going to work the same, whether it's cheap or expensive. So you might as well spend a little money since you're going to be no, doing the same amount not, of work. Because if it's expensive, you usually only have to go over it like once, a good shot once. If it's cheap, a lot of times you have to go over things twice. And oh, so, good point. Yeah. 
Well, here it is oh, all painted. It looks pretty good. How beautiful that looks. And there's Trisha looking so cute by my door. Ooh la la. And look at that beautiful wreath and that pop of color. Oh my gosh. And that turned out so nice. Thank you, Trish. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe. Do you like us? It's free. Subscribe and ring that bell. Bye. Bye.